Hi, and welcome to Christ Studios Christ Talk. Today, we have Olympian Randolph Ross, and we are so excited to have him. He is awesome. And guess what? His personality, his demeanor, it is so humble. And I want you to know that he is the best. Introducing none other than Olympian Randolph Ross. Hi, Randolph. Hey, Natasha. <laughs> So excited to have you. You are so special to me. And um, and you know, you I know you have this wonderful sister. We can't leave her out, Jonah Ross. Can you tell us about just your dreams and aspirations of just running your love for what you do? Well, growing up, running has always been in the family, as you see, my dad attended the Olympics in 2004. <clears throat> he actually attended with you. So <laughs> it's been something that we've always been around and things we've loved to do. And in high school, I did do football and basketball, both. Yes. All the way to my junior year. Mm -hmm. But when it was time to actually pick a sport and settle down, get ready to go to college, track was the one that it just seemed like it fit more than anything else. Yes. And you made those decisions. I, I am so happy you made those decisions on your own. And um <laughs> You, you know, we, we were laughing and giggling. Your mom and were excited. We were excited for all your visits. You know, we were happy because your mom got a chance to go on those visits with you <laughs> and enjoy herself. And uh, we just thought it was fantastic that you were coming into your own and you still are today, you know, and mainly it's your love. It's your gift. So what do you think about, you know, just sharing your gift and your love with the youth out here today and others like your sister and the other Randolph, John Ross, that's going to be coming up. What do you think about that? Well, that's oof, that's something like not a lot of people get to experience. And it's actually kind of amazing, I would say, because I remember back when I was younger, having people that have already experienced like rent professional and been through the journey before you have and being able to give you all the information and everything you need to know. It's Different, and it helps you get better and prepares you for what you have to go through. Yeah. So just being able to share that with Jonah and RJ and the youth group of my track team is mm -hmm. a blessing. Yes, you are a star. You are a star at home. And um, your, your area here, I'm not going to say what's going to be happening pretty soon, but uh, <laughs> you just enjoy yourself and, and uh, your mom is going to be excited, too, for you. But, you know, I want to let you know that you have inspired so many, even, um, you know, not only your brother and your sister. I mean, because you and your sister, you have a really close relationship, don't you? And mm -hmm. and your brother Randolph, it's just amazing. Now, it's three Randolphs. I mean, like when your mom, you know, was, uh, you know, when your mom was talking, you know, with, of course, she talks with your dad a lot. And when she says Randolph, I'm like, which one are you talking about? Because actually it is three of you all, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes, that's amazing. See, the world doesn't know that yet, but when they say Randolph, it's a lot of you all. Randolph Ross in this family is more than one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to just share with you that uh, you are amazing because so many youth are looking up to you and you you may not even know that but aspire to be like you when you cross the line at the olympic trials oh my gosh it's just like not only you and your family and all of us exploded but you, you look your net you look your cousins they got up the next morning look with their little shorts and t-shirts and they were so excited to work out like whatever they could do outside they just did it <laughs> Because they knew that you had did something wonderful. So look, tell us too about not only your gift and how you're inspiring the world, but like right now you're training. Are, are you excited? And and then I know you're getting ready to leave, so we can't hold you long. But are you excited about this season? Yes, I'm ready to go. It's I've been training basically since I would say June of last year mm -hmm. because of COVID shutting everything down. It yeah. ended our season without outdoor. And Working out with my dad, like I didn't really have anywhere to go. So it was with him, we were training almost every day. It was lifting one day, long runs in the other, getting ready for the season. Yeah. So it, it's been long and I've ran pretty well throughout the year. 
but it's now this is the biggest meter probably of my life. So yeah. <laughs> training has been going well. I've had a little break since the two meets I had back to back. And now it's time to just go there and you're ready to go. Yeah, and, and enjoy it. Enjoy it because it's yours. And um, it's going to be nice. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be so special. And, um, you know, I just want you to know, too, that we're so excited. But at the same time, you know, you, you are natural and, and you are very special and natural. So enjoy it because you have plenty, plenty, pl plenty of time. Um, the other thing, too, I, I wanted you to know, too, that uh, a and you know, we, we have to talk about you know, this selection and you, you pick this school, this is you, this is from your heart. You, you have, you picked the school and it, it ended up being with your daddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We know your daddy is there. <laughs> and, um, and he's something special too. Um, very, very special coach Dwayne Ross before being a coach. I know when we trained together, a lot of people don't know Dwayne, your father, he could train himself. Even though he had coaches, Dwayne, it, he, he was just very special. He could go to Europe. He could stay there for months. And, you know, he knew how to uh, be a coach before he became a coach. He's very, very intelligent, very, very intelligent. So we want the world to know that Dwayne Ross is, before he was a coach, he was coaching himself um, along with the coaches. He knew how to travel. He knew how to train. And I'm telling you, when he made the Olympic trials to go to Athens, Greece, oh, my gosh. I know our family, when he crossed that line, it was like a breakthrough. It, it was a breakthrough. And he took you. <laughs> you were in Athens, Greece. I remember your mommy holding you and taking you everywhere in Greece. And um, and and I was scared for you, even though I was running, you know, mm -hmm. I was running and, I, and your auntie was on the track. But. I saw this little chocolate, chocolate chip. And I said, my nephew is here in Athens, Greece. So your father and your mother took you everywhere, everywhere. And we just love you, love you, love you. Um, but we got to talk about your school because your school has broke through. We were talking about breakthroughs. Tell us about what you think about a and When it came to with choosing the school I was going to sign to, it was a little different because, you know, I visited Iowa, South Carolina. I was yeah. going to visit, um, Ohio. Just going there, you could see how big the campus is, like how much stuff they had. It was like the weight rooms, they were huge. It was, and then coming to a &T, so you can tell like there's a difference between like the amount of money the school puts into like the campus or how much they own. Yeah, but it's when I came here. It was it wasn't really just about all the buildings and how big the campus was. Like visiting the teachers, the academic advisors. I already knew most of the track team from like having the train with them over the summer. But mm -hmm. it's like the just community and all in total. Yeah. they had like a different type of spirit when it came into doing what they loved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And. That was no matter whether it was on the classroom or on the track. And it just had a different feeling than when I visited other schools. <laughs> yes. And you and you chose a wonderful school with a beautiful history. Um, Reverend Jesse Jackson has attended there. And not only that, your grandmother, your <laughs> grandmother attended a &T. And so I, I just want everyone to know just the character of Randolph Ross and also his history, but also that he is an awesome, an awesome man. And we appreciate you. All right. We love you. And we just want to say hello and uh, and wish you well and many, many <laughs> blessings. All right. Thank you. Love you too. Love you too. Bye. Thanks.